Man, people just need to just check themselves for a minute. I mean, two people lost their lives. And y'all still want to be on this fluid, got to be the bad guy, the villain. It's just it's ridiculous. I mean, where is your show of empathy? Where is your show of, of concern? I mean, we can both root for who we like. Like, you like whatever Pacquiao or... I don't even think y'all like him. I think y'all just want to have somebody to go against Floyd Mayweather. Y'all just envy him so much. So, y'all just chose Pacquiao to be y'all outlet. Until he gets his head knocked off, then you'll find somebody else to when you run to them. But, let's put the whole thing in perspective. Earl Hayes won. Y'all don't know him. Alright? Y'all never met him. Y'all didn't meet the VH1 girl, his wife Stephanie. So, for y'all to make these accusations and all this craziness, it's just crazy. I mean, it's bizarre. One, and trying to say that, oh, maybe Floyd is the reason she was sleeping with Floyd. Then that got knocked down. Now it's, oh, okay, she was sleeping with uh, Chris Brown. That got knocked down. Now it's, oh, she was sleeping with Trey Songz. And, and Floyd was instigating it. So Floyd got to go into questioning. Like they're going to lock him up and arrest Floyd Mayweather for a murder-suicide that took place. They only gonna bring him in there so when they close the investigation they just ask him what he heard so they can just put it all in the report. That's all it is, is a formality. Okay, it's a murder suicide. Now people are talking about Floyd Mayweather and this guy, like, oh that's not really his friend. How like I said, you don't know who Earl Hayes is okay for one Earl Hayes has been friends with Floyd Mayweather since I remember 2003 2003 y'all back when him and 50 first got tight it was 50 Hayes and Floyd Y'all just didn't know who he was. He was just a super tall dude that looked like Jay-Z to y'all. <laughs> that's it. It's like, oh, that super tall guy that looked like Jay-Z. Like, oh, yeah, 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 I know him. But in the industry, he was more than that. He wrote many songs for a lot of these artists, R&B artists, uh, Timbaland, Dr. Dre. He plugged in, he wrote some songs for Chris Brown, he collaborated on 50 on a couple of his mixtapes, you know, like, he was a guy that was on the cusp of making a lot of money, but it wasn't about money with him, it was more about boredom, and with him, it was more about him not being stagnated. He wanted to have songs out with his own name and do his own thing under his own, you know, his own accord. But when you, like his voice to me wasn't going to carry over. But if it, his delivery, in other words, it was alright, but it, it's, it's like it's more fitted for another guy besides him. With Floyd Mayweather being the way that he is, he was always was gonna help him. Earl is one of his guys, like they rode together. When Hayes when he formed TMT and decided that he was gonna sign Hayes, they was gonna get everything back on track. Hayes was that guy. And a lot of people don't even understand what we're talking about. He rapped about this. He has a song called Suicide. Thank you all for tuning in to the first 48. 
And we're gonna leave you with something special. Hayes, Dr. Dre, Tiffany, Wreck This Club. There's been a string of violent and controversial music being released. The new shit that's coming out is crazy. Kids have really been starting to kill themselves. And why do you ask? I don't know. I've been in here on the scene all night of another murder-suicide. I've been trying to figure out, and they all been blaming it on the kids there. Hey, for anybody who ever fucking just thought about getting it all up, I don't give a fuck. I've been taking advantage of Shot that push and shove the shit on Told I wasn't shit and show no love But not this morning I got a warning that's backed by action The slightest disrespect gon' lead to a shooting and stabbing I'm not having none of the games you played in the past I'm garbage now, bitch, no longer would you treat me like trash Driving your car with you next to me was simple crash Why should I care? I could just kill us both Go out with a smash and taste the bitter sweetness of death It's freedom at last Who gives a fuck with those motherfuckers? Say when I pass, so run some bath water, smoke some weed until you get buzzed. Say fuck the world and throw your fucking radio in the tub. Make an example, do what everybody's scared of, do what they all think about, but nobody else does. So switch your wrist, jump off a cliff, crash into some shit. If anyone asks why you did it, tell them life was a bitch. Go shoot your girlfriend, and when you get surrounded by cops, fuck doing life. Shoot it out and do your time on the spot. Just do it, you fucking rookie pussy. What is you nervous? Death holds a purpose. I see that at your funeral service Make your family cry You and your girl in the purses Take somebody what you who really didn't deserve it Show everybody that life just ain't perfect And when you get mad It's time to close curtains Cause If you feel like life ain't worth living And you just ain't bullshitting Then Man, if you wanna throw in the towel And blow your brains out Then I ain't saying do the damn, but dog, I understand, cause If you ever felt defended and looked at your life and ready to end it, they don't have the guts to Alright, now you can go and look it up, it's on YouTube now um, But it's clear to see that this man suffered from depression And when I met him you know, I mean, if look, when you met, meet somebody and you can pretty much tell they different. We we uh we was in a strip club and I, he's there with his wife. It's just like nothing's moving him. You know, he's not really in the mode. He's really just laid back. You know, there's strippers, there's girls, and everywhere, and he's just with his wife. They talking. And then, you know, they talking to strippers and he's just not in the mood. And that's when I knew, that's when he told me that that was his wife and not his girlfriend. And then he told me that uh, the second time I saw him, and we was in Detroit, and it was only briefly he was there, you know, before he went back to his room to chill. He didn't really want to be bothered too much, but he was mostly to himself. He never really was like outgoing, like, yo, I'm the big. He was more laid back, cool, the Lloyd Banks type. That's what I called him. But he was a hit maker. I'm like, dude, you make hits. He wrote hit songs for Game, wrote hit songs for Dr. Dre, and it would blow your mind the songs that he created. But he just suffered from some type of pain, some type of hurt that hurt him early in his life. And and his songs is so eerie because when people talk like they don't even have no respect for life or it's just boring to them, they crying out in their music. And a lot of his songs have this type of feel or appeal to it. But show some respect is what I'm trying to say to everybody else out there listening, you know. Show some respect. You know, this is somebody who's not here no more. Like, oh, he's just a stupid murderer, and this and that, and he's a coward, and this and that. It's mental illness. Some people are not born equipped with the full understanding of life and death. They just don't. 
it's a mental weakness uh, something happened tragically in their lives most suicide happens because they feel nobody would care if they're gone or they want to use it to hurt some people that they feel wouldn't care or didn't show them the type of concern that they felt they should have gotten that's when people normally live this earth you know it's, it's a fear or some type of hurt some people kill themselves because they just can't deal with the fact of facing something an obstacle or something they just couldn't do embarrassment humiliation or at their job I've seen people you know just shoot themselves at work because their name was ruined they didn't want to go through the trial or something these type of things can dominate someone's life for a person like myself I could say I'm not gonna do that but have you ever been to that point mentally where you just don't care you know that's not fair for us to say because we the majority of us probably have not been in that situation but I just wish that there was somebody there that could have got him some help then there will be two people alive you know and see these signs earlier 